This is going to break down ripple technique because then I have a time step that includes ripples. And obviously, if you can't do a ripple, time step's not gonna work. So, let's do a little overview of ripples, which can be three beat or four beat. And require you to have really good core control and require you to stay forwards on the balls of your feet and keep your heels up. Chairs are really helpful because to get the basic ripple movement, you want to spend a little bit of time scrubbing the floor. So I start with my right foot back. I'm keeping my knees together. I'm making sure the foot's behind me. I tap step with my right foot and then I pull back my left foot and snatch it up. And I keep my weight on the ball of my right foot. I'm not letting the heel touch. Same thing with the left foot, tap step forward. Pick up the right foot. So release your weight. Tap, step, release, pick up. 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 Try adding a little bounce. So we tap, step, bounce. Tap, step, bounce. Tap, step, bounce. Tap, step, bounce. Now we're telling ourselves a little why. Because the pick up doesn't really come after the tap step. It comes in the middle. So when you do a ripple for real, you go tap. Then you pick up and you land on the right foot. So that's the next step that we want to add in. Tap forwards, pick up off the foot you're standing on and land on the other foot. Tap forwards, pick up, land, tap forwards, pick up, land. And when you're doing it slowly like this, you are going to wind up with your heels touching the floor. But every time we land, we land on the ball and it kind of just sneakily comes down a little bit to facilitate the pickup. Let's do eight of those. I'm not using music so that you can hear exactly what the taps are meant to sound like and hopefully so you can hear your own feet as well. Five, six, seven. And go one, and go two, and go three, and go four, and go five, and go six, and go seven, and go eight. Oh, it's so much harder slow. Okay, let's try them a little bit faster. It's okay to put weight through here. We're just concentrating on getting the feet to happen in the correct order. So it's tap forwards, pick up, land. Tap forwards, pick up, land. Ready, set, go. Nice. If you're not getting your pick up, try putting your, we'll go back to first. Put it out in front of you a little bit, relax your knees and then and just let the front of the foot hit. So as you pull it back, you relax and it strikes the floor. That's all it is. Left foot, relax and strike, relax and strike, relax and strike. Yeah, get up. Loosen out your ankles, don't let them get tense. Strong knees, strong hips, loose ankles, control, go for eight. Back foot up, five, six, seven. All good? Okay. Let's try it as a four beat ripple. So that means that we put the landing heel down. Tap step forward, kick up comes next. Then you land and you roll the heel down as a separate beat. And we've got to hear four distinct sounds. The heel doesn't go down at the same time. It's a separate thing. So rolling through your foot with control is the idea. Okay, right foot up. One, two, three, four. Ready, go. Aha. Left foot's up. One, two, three, four. Ready, go. Uh huh. One, two, three, four. Ready, go. Left foot. One, two, three, four. Ready, go. If that's fine, continue on. If it's not, Hit pause, spend some time working out the order. Let's go for eight a little faster. Five, six, seven. Again, eight four beat ripples. You get to put the heels down, it's very exciting. Five, six, seven. So you can see why I've got this chair here, because doing these slowly, you really need a bit of support. Doing them freehand 
uh, suddenly they've got to go fast and suddenly your beats might fall out the window. So better to go a bit slowly, have something to balance on, have something to put weight through and get the beats in the correct order. Let's put a toe tap on. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Like that. Let's put the jump in so that we get the order of the beats correct because when we do them with our weight in both legs, we're always practicing in the wrong order. Bow, bow. Five, six, seven, and we'll go back. Oh, I forgot the toe tap. Sorry. Five, six, seven. Are we good? Let's go for eight more. A little bit faster, a little bit smaller. Make sure you keep the jump in there and nice fluffy bending knee. Five, six, seven. to jump across to the time step, then look for the next video.